as a continuation from our overlay design we're now going to utilize the graded alignment string with the levels that were calculated from our overlay including our uh, manual design in our uh, reconstruction area the design and the full road width uh, will include the overlay boxing in these areas and the full reconstruction boxing in this area here in our MTF file our template for our full road reconstruction or a full road profile under the edit button here is simply just a uh, edge of uh, seal and shoulder and the table drains and so forth are made up through a process of the decisional templates. In our apply many we have a function name for our road design, our existing surface triangulation, the MTF file and our graded alignment string. Under the models option our overlay design strings and cross sections and also our boxing subgrade. These boxing layers, the uh, asphalt layer, 150mm base, recon and recon for the 250 are the reconstruction areas or the full road reconstruction areas. So we're, it, we're applying boxing only over this area here in relation to our road design. But the first layer here, the overlay 50mm asphalt, is to be applied the full length of our road design. Under the tin, we're creating a overlay or our full design tin MC00 overlay. If we apply that, we now go to our section view in our design area and profile one of our cross sections through the reconstructed area. And there's our road profile. The boxing file for our road design comprises several uh, boxing rules. There's a 50mm nominal left and right for the full length of the road design a uh, 150 for the widening overlay of our road design and a reconstruction area uh, for the full road reconstruction 150 millimeter left and right and 250 millimeter left and right if we look at one of the standard ones for the reconstruction area 150 millimeter typically it's using the um, uh, lane edge string or edge abitment string here the uh, copy hinge string at the center of the road uh, 150 millimeters deep and it's got the uh, cross fall option to extend the cross fall on our road design back under the shoulder and the copy command tick to copy the rest of the road design. In our MTF file we've specified our boxing file and on our first left side we specified our nominal 50mm asphalt layer for the entire length of the road design the same for the right hand side on the layer 2 left hand side over between the two tangent points back inside our original design from here to here we specified the uh, reconstruction 150 layer left and right and similar under the boxing third layer the reconstruction 250 millimeter so the reconstruction boxing is only from this tangent point to that tangent point but over the full length of the road is the 50 millimeter asphalt we go back to our section view and add in our asphalt sections. We add in our sections for our recon 150mm and the boxing sections for the 250. Prior to the, the full road reconstruction area at the tangent point, we only have the 50mm asphalt. As we step through the recon area, we now have the layers for the road reconstruction. The next process in our road design is to look at the boxing or subgrade on the left hand widening area from our cutback string across to the interface and on the right hand side across to the interface. In this session we're also going to ascertain the intersection of a string at the cross fall of your design road taken from our cutback edge string and projected through to hit the design tin surface. In other words, the subgrade intersect point. There's a new option available under Design Roads More called Subgrade Batter Intersect. 
at the moment that's where that option uh, is provided but look in future versions of trial D for this option to be on uh, more than likely the road toolbar. This macro will create that intersection, in, the intersecting point here. So we give that intersection point a name, put it onto a model called widen subgrade strings. It's going to intersect with our design tin from our apply mini. The reference string is our, our reference alignment string. The hinge string, in this case here, is the uh, cutback string. String number one is the hinge string in our row design. String number two is the edge of seal in our design. We go process. When you run the option, it will give you a Earthworks quantity box. And if I then add the model on, I can see the intersection point of the projected line at the row crossfall intersecting with the tin point. Similarly, for the right hand side, we select our reference our hinge cutback string, our two design strings and process. Regenerate our section view. It then shows you the second right hand side intersection point for your subgrade on your widening area. In this session we're going to look at creating a subgrade surface or the top of the subgrade surface. That subgrade surface will include the interface points, drains from your previous apply many design, also the intersection points created by the intersection subgrade macro, the cutback strings and the row crown strings. If we go up under utilities, A to G, select the global change option. We're going to copy all these strings to the widening subgrade strings model. select the overlay or the uh, cutback string on the left hand side. We'll select our row crown string, the string joined in our survey and placed on the cutback reference model. And again on the other side we'll select our cutback string. To get the other strings that are outside our row design, those strings in our case all start with the word I for interface, interface left, right, drain and so forth. So we can use the filter option. Inside here in the filter option we'll go and select our strings from the model from our overlay row design. We'll go into string info and we'll type in here the name of the string we're after. So we can use wildcards so we can select everything that starts with I for interface, filter select, it'll highlight all those strings and again we copy them to this subgrade strings model. Here now you can see the strings copied onto the widened strings subgrade model and these strings we're going to utilize to create our sections. We're going to do that uh, in relation to the new boxing many option and then we're going to box the sections created from these this surface here and we're going to box each side resulting in the subgrade boxing for the two widenings. Before running our boxing mini function on our subgrade strings, I've cleaned those strings up. I've trimmed these off uh, so they start at the start of my reference alignment string, uh, trimmed out the strings where the full road reconstruction is, and also then ended the, all these strings at the end of my job. Just a process to make things a little bit cleaner. To run our boxing subgrade boxing mini function, we're going to design boxing and select boxing mini function. Okay, it should be noticed that this is a function, so it will be able to be ran in a chain at a later stage. We specify a function name, widen box mini. We're utilizing the same boxing files we did in our apply mini design to do the boxing for the reconstruction area. The model to cut through are the subgrade strings, the widened subgrade strings, again that we created using this function prior. Section interval, a model for the cross sections that are cut, and they will be the uh, subgrade sections. We're looking at a colour, 
uh, our initial run. We won't worry about the boxing layers yet. We're just going to cut the cross sections through those strings. We select run. We can now add those models on the wide and some grade sections. Go to our section view and add the sections onto that view as well. So now it gives us our subgrade section, taking into account the interface points, the intersection of our subgrade here, and the uh, cutback strings. This surface, along with our original 50mm asphalt, forms the first two layers of our subgrade and our overlay. We're now going to look at the subgrade in relation to the surface here and our cutback point. We've got two more subgrade surfaces to put in here utilising the boxing menu function. Under the layers tab you fill in layer names or model names for your subgrade, the uh, 150 upper and lower um, subgrade strings and subgrade sections. Uh, the name of your alignment string, in this case MC00, will be appended to the end of these model names. We then go to the left hand side boxing. Under here we can select layer 1. Uh, we are applying the boxing over the changes for our overlay. And in our layer 2, we're looking at the wide and lower left hand side um, and leaving the gap between the two tangent points where the full road reconstruction boxing has already been done. So on the right side of boxing again, looking at the wide and lower right hand side for layer 2 and layer 1 the upper boxing right hand side. For now go back and run our boxing menu option. You will get errors in the output window. Those errors that actually relate to the uh, boxing strings that, or the d design strings that are missing over the reconstruction area. If we go back to our section view now and add in the section models for our subgrade at our widening points. So here we are, we've got the left side widening, right side widening, and that widening is in relation to your design. I can step through my cross section points and it shows the widening subgrade and the 100mm or 50mm asphalt that ran through the entire length of the project. Here we're now stepping through our cross sections going from the reconstruction area with the full depth pavement, stepping through into the overlay area with the wi uh, pavement widening on left and right side. Make sure that uh, any trim points on these subgrade strings at the reconstruction line, uh, that the subgrade strings do extend through to create a complete cross section. Last of all, you can run a volume report between your subgrade surfaces and the existing terrain triangles and ticking on whether you want the natural surface to design, natural surface to subgrade, design to subgrade and interboxing layer volumes. These options are the same as they are for the apply mini function. If we now have a look at our sections created from the boxing mini, you'll notice that the surface section runs all the way through as do the boxing subgrade sections so they all join across to the other side. The next option will actually remove these segments or make them invisible. It's under design, roads, more and again this menu will, will end up on the road toolbar. So at the moment it's on the uh, design roads more menu and we select segment section segment removal. This works on any cross sections at all. We're looking at the uh, common point name and that was the point name on our section called Road Crown. We're going to select our design section, the two subgrades on the widening and also the other widening. We run process. If we generate the section view and we bring up our string inquire, you'll now notice that the sections have the middle section invisible but they are still one complete cross section and they will still plot the normal process inside 12D.
the last process in our overlay road design is to combine all the functions that we've done previously into a road chain. In this chain here we're going to start by recalculating the apply many function for our road design. We then clean out the strings uh, that are in the widening sub-base strings. We rerun the, the widening intersection options which creates the string that is the intersection of these crossfalls from the cutback string intersecting with your row design tin. Again they are just simply the subgrade intersection left hand side and right hand side. You then have to then copy the interface strings or all the strings that start with I from your road design and also the cutback edge strings and the road crown string into the subgrade strings model. That's what these two options here do. They're just a recording of the change, multiple change options. Then here we run the boxing menu function again. As I said before, the boxing menu function is a it has a function name attached to it. So when we rerun the boxing menu function, it is rerunning this option here. We then wish to clean up our cross sections for our subgrade and remove the joining segments between the uh, cross sections and that's running the section removal function again and then finally we do a redraw all views. Write that out to a file and then run the um, row chain. The real benefit of the chains, combining the boxing many and all the road intersection subgrade macros, comes about when your road design changes. Here we just do a simple change to our road. So we'll go up under our templates here and we'll change the left hand side of our road and we'll make that instead of 3.5 metres, we'll now make it 5 metres wide. This way our complete road design will change. The left hand side will now be 5 metres wide and running the the um, chain will then apply and recalculate all the new subgrade boxing. So I go run chain. The job's complete. So if I go back and profile my design cross sections with my new left hand width changed to 5 metres. And it's completely redone all the subgrade boxing for you.